This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review. And today, Brawl, uh, part two of six of my Jinbao Oversized Bruticus review. Uh, this guy is very lean, you know, for a, uh, a tank. Uh, but the tank mode is pretty cool. And uh, But this guy, you know, has some uh, issues with standing, but overall a great representation like i said i like the more stylized version because uh they're big and they're gonna tower over the rest of my figures and that's what i'm looking for in a combiner so we're gonna take at uh, take a look at part two brawl of uh all my six reviews of Jinba oversized Bruticus. before i do that i just want to remind everyone to check out my voice hacking playlist the main feature of my channel something i'm very proud of and also check out my sponsor djc collectibles and at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. What's to stop us from beating you into scrap iron instead? Okay, Brawl. Um, and honestly, the first time I remember there was a Brawl character is when I played the War for Cybertron game. And he was there. Or was it Barricade? No, I think it's Brawl. He, he tells Megatron at one point, he's like, you're kidding, right? And Megatron's like, yes, Brawl. I'm known for my sense of humor. I'm pretty sure it's Brawl. It could be Barricade. I don't care. Um, Brawl here looks good, but uh, two little guns with a bit of waffle, which for KOs, I don't know, usually it's a little better. Yeah, anyway, uh, there's this thing here, which does nothing in robot mode. Uh, it's the tank canopy, or turret, yeah. And the rest of the turret, which actually in this mode should be like this, because that is supposed to be a gun. Um, kind of impractical, but I mean, it works, it works. Um, and you can actually plug it in his back, uh, like this, uh, if you so wish. Or you can put it, uh, you know, downwards, and uh, I'll let you figure out the rest. Okay, um, oh, yeah, no, I did the accessories, all right, we're good. So, uh, he's very lean, you know, kind of a slim character for a tank, but the transformation is much simpler than uh, Onslaught, absolutely, uh, but it's still fun and it works great, better than the, you know, Warfare Cybertron, Earthrise, Megatron, for sure. Um, I like this guy. Uh, nice head sculpt. My son, you know, looked at it and he's like, oh, this kind of looks like Optimus. No, it doesn't. Uh, no light pipe. Oh, no, he has a little bit of light piping, like a very tiny sliver. So I think he's, him and Swindle have light piping, but yeah, not much. Uh, you do have a uh, nice rotation ratcheted Ferris wheel. Uh, the arms will go all the way here rotate here rotation at the hand no problem you have a 90 degree bend uh, you do have well yeah no you do have the movement here but I wouldn't call that a nab crunch you have a very good merry-go-round uh, this guy can pull a Johnny Cage no problem and if you remove this flap you can no you can't it blocks. All right, so he's not gonna stand on his on his own legs. But there you go. Uh, you do have your well, falls forward. Come on, ah oh, man. Let's uh, come on, do the Johnny Cage. There you go. All right. You have uh, a rotation underneath the, the tie joint. Uh, the hip joint, sorry, uh, you have a fantastic 90 degree bend because of, well not 90, more than 90 because of the uh, transformation. You have a, well you don't have a back and forth, but you do kind of have a tilt. It's kind of useless. Uh, my gripe with 
Oh, sorry, got a call. Uh, where was I? Okay, yeah, so we did articulation. Now, one, I like the look of Brawl. I mean, he's lean, uh, you know, colored plastic and the brown treads. Um, a little bit of paint here with the silver, the gray. And this kind of looks tan, but also pink to my eyes. I'm, I'm guessing it's tan. A little gunmetal here, silver, you know. Um, no, gun, th this is all gunmetal. So I guess this is gunmetal too. Like I said, you know, it's a review from a colorblind guy. So take it uh, with a grain of salt. Uh, nice flap. I mean, these do nothing for transformation. I mean, they're just there. But they're just a cover to waffle. So that's really nice. I like that. Uh, here, uh, no, actually this is uh, used for stability. Uh, but it, you know, plugs. You do have a bit of a hole here and here, but not too uh, too big. Nothing on the uh, inside of the arm, so that's really well done. Uh, no, I like the uh, the look of this guy. Uh, my only problem is the feet. So when he's, you know, there's no articulation back and forth, and this goes down, but it doesn't go up. So he, if you don't pull these things down, and these things are, you know, floppy. Uh, sometimes when you angle it, he's just gonna fall backward because you can't lean him forward uh, on his feet. So if you look, his feet, they're not, you know, they tend to go back down. So even with these things here, it's not fully stable. So you can move this around, but they did add these little things, which this one's super loose. This one kind of holds. So it adds to the stability of the figure. So it's not terrible, but it's not great. But I, I love it. I love the look. And his guns, him, go boom. No problem. Like Onslaught was a huge problem uh, because of the extra little indenture in, inside the hand that prevents you from doing this properly. So, But you always have to place the feet again to do it. And if you add this to the back, forget it. And this is useless in robot mode. So, uh, yeah. Hey, Swindle, listen to this! My Sonic Blaster blows him away! Let's do just one comparison, because I I know they're long reviews, so I want to keep it short. So let's go again with my Sunstreaker. So he's taller than a Sunstreaker. I'm guessing if this was mainline, uh, you know, Sunstreaker being a deluxe, this would be a deluxe too, and they'd be the same size. But I like the, you know, bigger scale. Both are masterpiece, but I feel like the Genbao stuff is even beyond masterpiece. <laughs> And now to do transformation, and I've practiced this one, you know, instead of being a jerk and learning on screen. Uh, so it's quite simple. First, you flap this inside, put these tabs, and then lift these up, flip these, and then put these lifts like that. Just angle it down a little bit. Plug the feet together. Well, not the feet, but the legs. Plug the legs, and then um, this goes in the back like that. But they don't clip, so they're always moving. So that's a little annoying, but you know it works. It cleans up super nice. All right, and then after that, you wanna, uh, yeah, okay. So let's. The arms don't go anywhere, but you do push. I mean, the the hands don't go anywhere, but you do want to push this in. Take this. And then put it here to complete the tread. Do the same thing on the other side, complete the tread. And then this is gonna go inside here once you actually lift. Uh, hold on, yeah. Unclip this, lift this like, well, put the head down like this, put this, and then you use those nice ratchet to. Oh, the hands, oh, the hands do move. Um, and then you're gonna place the hand and inside you kind of have to push everything in and then move the ratchet so that they line up everything and then you put that clip here and that clip here and then you close this plug it in so you have your base of your tank then Oh, I played with it when I was on the phone, sorry. So this looks like this, so all you do is like this. There you go. You're gonna take this, put it inside the rest of the turret uh, with the clip here. And then this clip here, 
gonna go into that hole there. And that gives you your turret, which moves a little bit and gives you a nice angle. And yeah, it does lift because the pegs are not super tight. And after that, you can put your little cannons, your little guns, anywhere you want. And I like that they have like a little clear hatch. Or actually, that's a visor. Oh, that's for the gun mode. Oh, okay. Well, you can still have it if you want. Uh, you can use it as, you know, being a canopy for the tank. Uh, yeah. He cleans up real nice. Uh, you have the, you know, the brown with the silver on top. Uh, the guns, gun metal here on the side. Uh, the tread looks good. There's no wheels. This is a hover tank or a sliding tank. Um, that's too bad. I would have liked a little bit of mobility. Uh, but it cleans up real nice, you know. I uh, could use some decals. I did see that there is decals from Toy Hacks uh, for this guy, well, this set, Bruticus and Devastator, and now I'm tempted. So I'll see, maybe I'll do that eventually. Uh, from the top, looks real good. Great tank. And now, I'm gonna do the uh, feet mode, which I'm hoping is not too complicated. And I'm gonna use the instructions right now because I'm a jerk. And you're gonna need this. I don't know if you need the yellow peg here for that part, but there's two of those and I'm guessing it's for maybe the arms or the feet. So we'll see that the instructions are gonna show us. So you have the feet, which, you know, Devastator had a mode where all the parts combine and did something. This, I'm guessing it does too, but I don't have any instructions for them, so I don't know. Uh, and I don't really want to... I don't need a uh, placement for this, because that's going to stay in, uh, you know, Bruticus mode. But like the uh, other figures, uh, nicely painted uh, gunmetal, uh, you know, the silver here, colored plastic, gray, brown black and the feet is super large uh, there's a bit of a toe tilt and there's these cannon here so yeah I mean I'm guessing that yeah it, it's probably for some other use but now it's gonna be a foot so what do we do we take this and they say lift them up and bend it underneath no hmm No, no, that's what it is. But this doesn't go all the way back. Like this picture here, uh, it blocks here. So we'll see what happens. Uh, oh yeah, you wanna lift, there's this thing here that you pull down. All the way back. And there doesn't seem to be any clips for it. Uh, but it, oh, okay. Well, it does follow the molding inside. So, you know, there's a proper place here. All right. So once you have this uncovered, you, they tell you to remove this part here. And then split the legs a little bit. And, oh, is this where I add this? Yep. Okay. Is there a side to it? Is there an angle? No, there isn't. So I'm going to take this. Nope. That can be it. Huh. Ah, okay. It's already, it's this part here. It's already attached to the foot. Okay. Can I do this? Cause after that, it's just, uh, add that there. Okay. So the tank goes like this. So you split this and there's a peg, kind of, here. And that's going to go over that thing here. I can tell you that this is not going to be stable enough. Uh, or is it? You have a rocker. Oh, is he the left foot or the right foot? Or can you unclip it from both sides? Nope. So that's, I'll determine that later, which side 
He's on. Why did the... Oh, okay, and then after that, once you've moved and you reclip this to add to the stability. And this is going to be where onslaught pegs. Okay, so you don't need this. That's probably for the arm. It's kind of weird to have the cannon like that. I wish it closed. Ah, oh, that's because there's a sprue. Mark. And now? No. It's too big. All right, well, that's going to be it. Um, so there you go. Oh, I guess you can remove the little cannons and put it somewhere else. We'll figure that out later. But, hmm, yeah, you know what? As long as the, the, the threads here the, the don't unpeg, that's going to be stable enough. I'm glad. So far, so good. But with all the weight, we'll see. All right, so there you go, guys. Final look at the foot and the end of this review. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back after more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.